I'm gonna replace this thermostat with a Honeywell smart thermostat. It's a 9000 series. It's got Wi-Fi. This is the item right here. So I can remotely uh, turn on and off and control the thermostat. I previously installed this thermostat, but I ran out of the Wi-Fi. So most of them, you just lift the bottom and pull up a little bit and it comes off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these wires. Oh, before you do this, of course, you wanna turn off the circuit breaker. Um, make sure that um, there's no power to it. Now this is, a, this is fed by a 110 uh, volt. A 120 volt system which the wire comes down from the furnace area down to this red wire to the red terminal so uh, just make sure that you um, have that power turned off I'm going to take the red wire first I got some of these wires labeled I should, I'm gonna label all these later. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the other wires. So these are to get the ones that I can see right now. The G wire is the uh, fan. Okay. And wire uh, W is the um, heat. So you want to kind of keep away from the R wire, even though there's, you know, there's no power. It's just safety, cautious, okay? Um, then I'm going to take the Y, the yellow wire out. And, uh, okay. So, okay. So I got the thermostat uh, wires removed. I'm going to go ahead and remove the wall plate. I'll probably have a better grip if I use one of these, um, Sockets. All right. That's how tough it seems like. Okay. So. Okay, I got the wires through. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tape up this red wire because um, I always want to treat it like there's power, and I don't want to take any unnecessary chances of it touching something. Okay, this was not used. Um, these are wrapping around, around the uh, main wires to show that that's not being used, is out of the way. Um, okay, here's the yellow wire, so let me, let me label these things. It makes it a lot easier, otherwise I get confused later on. Like I said, someone might actually paint something on it, get paint on it, and then it uh, makes it hard to figure out what that is. Okay, now the, the thermostat that I took out, it didn't use the common wire, so, um, but this new one here, um, it's Honeywell Smart. Um, smart thermostat does need the common wire so you gotta have that wire if you don't you can't well you, you really can't use this thermostat and the reason why is that it uses part of it to power 
electronics. Some of them, some thermostats don't use this wire to power it or doesn't have a lot of power needs so it can kind of get it from another wire. Just remember this one, this, um, this Honeywell needs the uh, C wire. Okay, I'm just straightening out these these wires because this new thermostat, you don't need to wrap the wire around the nut or something. You just need to um, push in. So, okay, here's the new uh, base plate for it. So, I uh, just want to make sure that I don't touch the red wire. Um, do anything okay I realized that the the opening here um, I have to center this new plate over this um, the new, new opening so I'm gonna go ahead and just put a mark here where I think it's the center okay and uh, Okay, gonna have to put some new holes here. Okay, fit the wires through here. This little thing also has a little leveler, so I can level this. And tighten this down. Okay. I'll double check. Yeah, looks good. So now what I want to do is Position these wires so that they're close to where the um, connections are. Uh, they're about the right places, so this way I don't have a tangle mess of wires here. So let's uh, do the G first. G, G, here we go, G. So you want these wires straight. G wire, okay, good. Tug on it, make sure it's in pretty good. Here's the Y. Here's the W. Good, that's in. So that's the common wire. Good, that's in. And now the last one is the uh, red wire. So, especially if you're not good with color sometimes. Red and green for some people can, can look close. So, okay, now I can take this off. Okay, it's in R. Okay, got the, just double checking. G, got the C in the common wire that the, the W, the yellow wire is the Y. Okay, 
All right, so you turn the power back on to the 110, 120 supply. This should just click on, I think. If I do the right, it should come on, right? Okay, what the heck happened here? Okay. Okay. After checking the wire here, this R wire wasn't in all the way, so while I tugged on it, it came loose. So let's see if it comes on now. Okay, so it should it should just click right on. Now I've got power. It took like half a minute to initialize. So we're going to pick English, home, okay, location, name, good, okay, done, okay, next, cooling and heating, yes, forest here, yes, not the other ones, heat pump, I don't have a heat pump or hot water, it's not for a hot water system. Gas, uh, your forced air heating. Okay, heating is gas. Okay. Um, stand efficiency. I guess so. It's an older system. Why wire is connected? Yes, I did. There's no Y2. Normally it's something else. So, so I don't have a two stage. That's what it is. Um, if both Y and W. Two wires are connected. No, it's not. State. It's a one-stage system. So, yeah, the newer systems have, you know, more features uh, as far as the furnace. Do you want to connect to the thermostat Wi-Fi? Yes. Okay, I set uh, my network. So now I gotta set the date and time. Set date and time. Yeah. Okay. Seven. I'll have to do the registration later on. It, it allows me to use the app indoor temperature I think when I register I'll get outdoor you know forecast type or real-time temperature so before I register I'm gonna go and check some things to see Let's see if I can turn the fan on might take a few seconds okay there it is I hear it okay I'm going to turn it back to automatic. Okay, mode. Heat is on. I'm going to register it online. And I think things are working okay. I'll just have to check the cool later on and see if that works. Yeah, I registered the um, thermostat and the sign on to the website. And um, that's where you put the. Um, Mac ID and another identifier. Okay, so now I got outdoor temperature, which is to get it from the website. It's the forecast or current conditions. Okay. Um, oh, earlier when I was pushing the fan, if you want the fan on, um, you have to push the done button every time you want something turned on. Same thing with mode. You want the heat on, you have to push the done button. So. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it on for now. Okay, set to 74. Permanent hold just means that I'm ignoring all the, uh, if there's any scheduled times to turn on and off the heating and cooling. I'm just saying I'm going to do it manually. Whenever I request for it, I'll just turn it on and off. If you wanted to edit the equipment or the name. Uh, okay, I think it's system setup. Go back to here. I'm gonna go back to here, okay? Um, home. I'm gonna. I'll 
take that. The reason I'm calling it downstairs is because I'm planning to change this to a two zone system so there'll be a thermostat, you know, another zone for upstairs. So, okay. All right, uh, force here. Yeah, you gotta go through all that again, which I covered earlier. Okay, yeah, I don't wanna save the changes. Okay, so here's a status. I got this thermostat from my utility company for a discount, it's about $130, I think. Now it's like Home Depot, you can get it for $99. And then on top of that, my utility company, the same one I bought this from, uh, now offers it for $49. So it's a great deal. So. You should uh, take advantage of that. If your old thermostat has a mercury switch to it, which you'll see like a little glass bulb with some silvery stuff that kind of, it's like a liquid form uh, when you wiggle it, uh, that needs to be disposed of as hazardous waste. So uh, that mercury stuff is pretty, pretty dangerous and don't touch it if it spills out. So uh, hopefully this video will help you install this thermostat so good luck with your uh, install.